I mean, dude, that's what I meant. What did you mean? Dude, the same week Nashville loses 9-2 to Dallas, the Leafs get a 9-2 victory of their own at home. And there's only one explanation. What? Aliens. Aliens? Ah, right, kidding. It's Bobby McMahon. Let's go. Good. We all feel Stop. good. Stop. Never gets rusty. What am I doing? Into my kitchen. Producer Drew, can you fix all ah. this? And when it comes to the Toronto Maple Leafs, you can crumple, crumple, yeet. Saw so that going differently. With you, wherever you are, welcome to LFR. Victory, puppy Ziggy! Everyone was saying, we won 10! We won 10! They got 9, this is 10. Eyes closed. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we gotta stand up. Leafs win! Nine to two! Over the Anaheim Ducks! Earlier in the day, Radko Gudis was asked about that photo of him screaming in the face of Joseph Wall, and he said, oh, I can't believe we're still talking about this. There you go, there you go, the next 48 hours before your next game against Buffalo, you talk about this, you talk about this, you wanted something else to talk about, you talk about this, you talk about being on the ice for Five goals there, Radko! Get this tweet from Kevin Papetti. This is fire right here. Radko Gudis was on for neither of his team's goals against, and they had one called back. That was very funny. He was on for four goals against at five on five, and five goals against in total. He's played in 730 career games, plus 57 playoff games. He's never been on for that many goals against, or five on five goals against, in a game in his career. You don't want to talk about the picture? Talk about that! Talk about that for the next two days until hopefully you lose the Buffalo and then you can talk about it all the way back to California, Radko. Why did the Leafs challenge that goal for goalie interference when they were already up 8-1? Why, when it was four on four and the Leafs are already up like six or seven goals, did they have Matthews, Marner, and Nylander out there to give them something to talk about? You wanted it, here it is! You know what, man? The Leafs had some incredible individual performances in this one, but they keep rising to the occasion without some of the core guys in the lineup. This is the third game without Morgan Riley. They've won them all. John Tavares isn't in this one either. He's been in and out of the lineup. They played a lot of this game, the majority of this game, with only five defensemen, uh, with William Laguson out at the worst time, the worst time for him. And Mitch Marner was playing D! He was playing D in a game that counted! Mark Giordano was obviously not in this game due to the passing of his father, and all of my condolences go out to Mark Giordano, because that's that's horrible. And the cruel part of professional sports is the schedule stops for no one, right? If whether you're sick or you're injured or there, there's a tragedy even, the game still happens. The, the schedule shows up, the team arrives from out of town and you gotta play them. And in the world of professional sports, it's next man up. In this case, it was Max Lejoie, who it seems, uh, even when Gio returns to the lineup, whenever that is, is gonna be sticking around because Sheldon Keefe said after the game that William Laguson is gonna be missing some time. But dude, this team is undefeated without Morgan Riley right now. Uh, and also basically undefeated without Morgan Riley since last season. Almost, like, what are they, 16-2-2? Two and two? It doesn't make sense. And you have to give credit to everyone who was the next man up. But you know who's taken a lot of criticism this season? Sheldon Keefe and his coaching staff. And they've played incredibly without some of their core guys. Obviously, huge shout-out to Bobby McMahon. Another two goals in this one. Huge shout-out to Max Domi, who got the belt. Huge shout-out to Tyler Bertuzzi, who, despite his best efforts, finally scored in this one. And... Most underratedly of all, with an elevated role, Timothy Lilligren has been fantastic. And I gotta tell you, TJ Brody has been pretty darn good too. Jake McCabe too. Who was bad? One of the questions I got on Twitter is, Steve, without nitpicking, is there anything to complain about? No! No, not a single thing, no. The team that I cheer for won nine to two. They won by seven goals. Austin Matthews got a hat trick, a historic hat trick, and we'll talk about that. Bobby McMahon picks up another two goals. Martin Jones was fine. They tortured Radko Gudis from puck drop to final horn, no matter who was on the ice. No, there was absolutely nothing to complain about. And dude, I gotta say, as good as the Leafs were, what the heck was that from the Anaheim Ducks? Dude, before the game, do you remember the last video that I did, the last LFR that I did, 
when the Leafs played the Ducks. Do you remember that game? Lucas Dostal broke the record for saves in a game by the Anaheim Ducks. The, the Leafs were crushing them in Anaheim all night, but Dostal kept the door closed. The Leafs finally tied it. I think it was Tavares tied it. And then the game goes to overtime where Matthews wins it. And I talked about Sudzy. Sudzy, the Anaheim Ducks goalie coach who's been away from the team, but he's a huge part of the reason Dostal has had success. He's been away from the team because he's gone through five rounds of chemo battling pancreatic cancer. He's an absolute warrior. Well, today, before the game, the Anaheim Ducks released a video, Sudsy was in town and he was talking to the Ducks, I think it was after morning skate. And dude, I saw that video and I said, number one, that's awesome and huge kudos to the Ducks for doing that. That's an incredible video, an incredible thing to do. And two, this is gonna be a really hard team to beat tonight. Like dude, you lose five nothing to Montreal to start the week, then you battle back and have an incredible 5-1 win against the Ottawa Senators. Then that huge lift in the morning before this game, I thought for sure the Ducks were gonna give the Leafs their best. Bang, the Leafs are up one nothing less than four minutes in, nice to Matthews, nasty. Bobby McMahon on the power play, snipes it, nasty. Jake McCabe, wide open, nasty. Uh oh, oh, Frank. Frank Fratano, it's oh my goodness, he got one, and oh my goodness, the Ducks are now within two, and oh, you can't take your foot off the gas, so they didn't! William Nylander with a power play goal of his own, and again, four goals for the Leafs, just four uncontested, beautifully placed shots that I don't hang on Dostal at all. Gibson starts the second period for the Ducks, and the Leafs score on their first two shots on the guy! Matthews! Ugh! Bertuzzi! At this point, I'm convinced he's trying to miss the net. Then he parks his bum in front of the net, and Matthews says, just keep your stick on the ice, Tyler! Matthews to Tyler, and it goes in! Ah! When McMahon scored his goal earlier in the game, he tied Bertuzzi in goals on the season. Bertuzzi said, dude, I can't allow that, and he scored to go up to number seven. Matthews said, uh, this isn't the battle between Tyler Bertuzzi and Bobby McMahon. This is the Austin Matthews show. Here's a hat trick. Scores a hat trick. There is a brief break to pick up the hats from the hat trick. And then Bobby McMahon says, actually, Matty, it is about that, and he scores again. And by the end of the second period, it's eight one! Ducks make it 8-2, Shelton Keefe challenges it and wins. Hilarious. Talk about that for the next 48 hours there, Radko. Talk about that! Why don't you talk about that? You want to talk about something else? Talk about that! Ryan Strom eventually gets one, who cares? And Robertson gets nine because it's fun to score goals! And the crowd is chanting for ten! Dude, if you were watching the stream for this game, and believe me, we are gonna talk about the stream for this game, you know that before the game, they showed a crowd shot and I said, Hey, is that the British girl with the talk show with the chicken? This was posted after the game! It was! It's Amelia de Moldenberg, which is a far nicer name than the British chicken girl. She said I must be the lucky charm, 9-2. You, you have to go to every game. You have to change your entire identity. You are no longer the talk show person who goes to restaurants with people. You are the Toronto Maple Leafs person. You can take my job. You can, t you can take my job. You can do a video, do LFR. You can even... It's, it's fine. It's yours. You can do LFR after every game if they do that. If they do that because you're in the building, they're like, oh my god, that's a British chicken girl. Actually, her name's Amelia. If they do that, every time you're in the building, you can just take my gig. Now, we gotta talk about the Maddie Hattie. The second, the back-to-back -back Maddie Hattie, but not just the back-to-back -back Maddie Hattie, the back-to-back, -back, the back Hatties from two from Austin Matthews and one from Bobby McMahon. Apparently, it is the first time since 2010 that that has happened. I think it was Alexander Ovechkin and Alexander Semen. Now, both of those guys had the same first name, so perhaps it's a little bit more impressive on their part, but holy cow, it's been 14 years since that happened. Even more impressive, I'm, I'm gonna put this up from NHL PR. Most hat tricks in a season since 1973-74. Wayne Gretzky had 10, twice, alien. Mario Lemieux had nine, Mike Bossy had nine, Brett Hull had eight, Alexander McGillney had seven, Richard Martin had seven, Matthews, Lemieux Lemieux Gretzky had six in a season. Matthews has done it this season. It is February 17th, you mutant! Producer Drew, of all people, no offense, was talking in my ear during the stream and he's like, is Matthews gonna get heart votes? Heart votes? Like, it's funny, because we haven't really been talking about him in the heart conversation, but this dude is on pace to hit 50 goals, like, potentially Monday, like, by the end of next week, it is not just likely, but, like, reasonable to believe 
that he will be at at least 50 goals. But like, those are some of the great, greatest goal scorers of all time and the greatest seasons they ever had in terms of goal scoring. And he's gonna get there. How don't you at least nominate that person? If Matthew scores 70 goals, 70 goals, he's gonna get nominated for the heart at minimum. He had five points in this one. He mixed in a couple assists. That must have doubled his total. And now I want to talk to you about the stream. So, boy, it is funny how life works out. Um, we're, we did a stream on the SDPN YouTube channel. Uh, the stream was just me reacting to the game. We obviously don't have the rights to the footage because uh, we're not a national rights holder because we don't have a little over five billion dollars at our disposal. So it's just me talking to the chat. We're just having a nice little chitty chat. We're talking about the, the, the game. You might be sitting there right now going, oh, you did a stream? You didn't advertise that at all. I know we didn't advertise that at all, and that is totally my fault. But the reason, or part of the reason, why we didn't advertise it at all is it was kind of a last minute decision. We were supposed to stream the game on February 24th against the Avalanche, producer Drew's team. We can't do that anymore because something has come up. So we were trying to figure out, okay, what should we do? We landed on this game against the Anaheim Ducks. No offense to the Anaheim Ducks, but we wouldn't usually see them on the schedule and go, that's the one we gotta do. I saw someone post a stat, like it's the first time the Leafs played the Ducks on Hockey Night in Canada since 1996 or something, is that true? Surely not. So on those streams, I was advertising the fact that we now have SDP VIP, where you can join the SDPN YouTube channel on a membership and that gets you a few things. Your name comes up in green in the chat so you stand out a little bit more, you get emojis, but most importantly, we're uploading a fourth extra episode, extra Steve Dangle podcast episode every week and we have the option to upload even more stuff than that and we're going to. That's what you get for a membership. It's four nine, no it's not, no it's not. It's three ninety nine a month it is American, so it works out to like four fifty Canadian. I'm sorry, but it's three ninety nine U.S. a month, and that's all the stuff you get. And I was trying to tell people to sign up. During the second intermission, someone gifted five memberships to the YouTube channel, and I said, "Oh, oh, I had no idea you could do that." Legitimately, like Steve, you're probably going, Steve. How didn't you know that? You suck at your job. You're right. But hands, hands in the air, you got me. I'm an idiot. I had no idea. From that one person who gifted five memberships, hundreds of gifts, gift memberships started rolling in from the, the gems, the absolute gems, the absolute angels that are part of the Dangle Navy. Someone, I, I think their name was Luke Berube, uh, uh, gifted a hundred. And, and, and Ty, Ty was the guy who started it all. I think he did a hundred and Mike Schmidt was in there and people were doing uh, 50 and, and 20 and 10 and even one and even just signing up yourself. By the end of it, we had nearly doubled the amount of people who are members of the SDPN YouTube channel. And that is no small thing. Um, if I could be totally candid with you for a second, uh, first of all, yes, I do hope this ends with you becoming a member of the YouTube channel. I do. Um, we're also on Apple Podcasts and we're working on Spotify. Spotify takes a little longer. I do hope it ends with you becoming a member, but Adam has talked about SDP VIP on the podcast before, and he's talked about helping out a small business. If you saw what happened last month, uh, you know it's been a struggle. Um, and we knew there would be struggles as a small business, starting up, quitting our jobs, we maybe didn't think there would be this many. We need help. And we're willing to do extra work for the help. That's why we didn't put an extra episode per week behind a paywall, because that's crappy to do. We didn't want to do that to our audience. You don't deserve that. So rather than take something away from you, we're giving you something extra. If you want it. You could take it or leave it. You don't have to have it. So for all that generosity, for all those people to help our company, but not just our company, give access to the extra stuff that we've done to all those people who was part of the stream. Like I, you, you could go back and watch it. I almost cried. Like I basically, 
I was tearing up. I'm, I'm, listen, I'm half Italian, it's in my blood. Crying? Crying is it? Yeah, crying. It, all the Italians watching admit it. Admit it, ah, yeah, ah, oh. I'm half, so I can only do it with one hand. Dude, that was a magical, magical, absolutely unbelievable, breathtaking night. Um, a bunch of the comments were, in case you haven't gotten the message, we want you to stream more. Don't worry, loud and clear, <laughs> I heard ya. Uh, we will do more games. Believe me, we've already started talking about the playoffs. And there's so many other opportunities. We could do a tour of the Blue Room. We could do this. We could do that. Um, my brain melted. So, if you'd like to become a member of the STPN YouTube channel, head on over to the STPN YouTube channel. There should be an option to click join. Click join. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. Your life won't change. I'll still upload LFRs for free. On this here channel, there's still going to be three Steve Dangle podcasts per week on the SDPN channel. Still two CJ shows, Agent Provocateur, Nailing the Apex. There's it's all the other shows that we have, man. Best one, Godan, Notebook, Low Key, like pretty fired recently. I hear producer Drew yelling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drew and Stu. Get Drew and Stu. Listen, I made a video on this channel after last season that I was quitting my job at Sportsnet. The NHL rights holder, big company, lots of protection, working for someone, and I decided to leave that protection, we all did, so that we could be all in on SDPN. So to receive the support that we did tonight meant the entire world. Thank you. So that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you liked this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell all your friends. SDPN against the world, and the Leafs won 9-2. Radko, talk about it.